DrivePoint provides smartphone-based telematics solutions to make roads safer and reduce the environmental footprint of mobility. DriveCont helps insurers develop and launch connected car programs. Today, they will present the Beelis Plus Road Safety app, operated by their partner LB Forsikrung in Denmark. Beelis Plus is a white label application and helps policyholders gain insight into their driving behavior, with among others, a safety score. Please welcome DriveCont. Hello, so I am Philippe. I am the CEO of DriveCount. In DriveCount, we are doing smartphone-based telematics. So that means we help the insurers uh, collect driving data to improve their uh, the subscription, the um, prevention, the pricing, the claims, the assistance, crash detection, and claims management. And rather than entering in too much into the details in what we are doing, I thought it would be more interesting to ask one of our customers to explain what, how he's using uh, our technology. So, Morten, please. Thanks. So, uh, I'm from uh, LB for Sickling or LB Insurance. And we consist of these few brands, uh, which is up on the screens. Um, we are membership a member-owned company, so we, uh, all of our members are the ones that own us, which means that we can make quite a bold statement as our main mission, which is to uh, make insurance redundant. And this mission statement uh, drives our short-term agenda as well, which is the division I'm working in, Elbita, the innovation department, where we're trying to prevent as many claims as possible from happening. I'm focusing on the, uh, our app, which I'll present in a minute, um, which is the telematics part, the, the driving part of it. So the, the app here is, is very simple. It's all about nudging people to become better drivers uh, the whole way through. And we're using uh, DriveCon's uh, nice system for this, both their white label and their uh, SDK for Ford. Um, so again, we are trying to make our members better. We are not a pay as you drive or pay how you drive. We're focusing purely on the behavior on the road. And we have done so with a deductible discount program instead. And I'll, I'll get back to the details in a minute on how exactly that works. I think first, uh, Philippe will show a bit about uh, the app. So uh, now we will switch to, to my phone. So th this is my phone screen. So here you have the, uh, the app uh, Billist uh, Plus. So the, the main screen of the app um, gives the user information about his uh, driving behavior as an average. So here uh, it shows my score. It's the, the weekly average in terms of safety. The app also provides information for all, all your trips. So here it's the li list uh, of trips I made uh, recently. And for example, if you open uh, the analysis of one specific trip, like this one, so you have um, all, all the safety events that are shown on the map. At the bottom, number of um, dangerous events and the score. You have an analysis in terms of driving distraction that are shown on the map and your score, eco driving, and, and so on. Okay, here you have also some advice that are pushed to the user. Uh, based on his driving behavior dur during the trip. You also have in the app um, mechanics that uh, help the, uh, the, the driver improve. So for example, the badge, a list of badges that you can earn um, during your, 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 your driving, streak of hits, uh, and, and so on. Okay, so now we will go back to the, to the slide so that Martin can explain you how he's used the, the, the app. So uh, using this app, we, uh, we're, we're trying to improve the behavior of our drivers. And just really briefly on how our user experience is. So you, you take the phone with you and the app installed, and you don't obviously use it for good reasons, but you keep it in, uh, in your pocket. After a trip, you review it, you get those details. You, we focus mainly on the safety score and on the distraction score. And based on these two scores at the end of each week, you get a deductible uh, discount. 
Uh, and this deductible discounts accumulates up to approximately uh, 200 euros, which you can use in total um, if you have a claim. So what is so special about this? Um, you alluded a bit to it earlier with the, uh, with the advices and the nudging and the gamification. So that's what we're really trying to do a lot here. Um, is it enough, though? Is it enough with an app to change the behavior? And we just saw from telematics, uh, from uh, CMT just before, that it could be enough. Uh, is our job here enough as well? Um, well, the problem here is in the behavioral economics. Um, most of you probably have some sort of fitness goal. A lot of people do, and they uh, have a mission about getting more fit, of getting more slim, or whatever. And everybody, every one of us knows exactly what we need to do to fix it. And here comes the problem with telematics, is that everyone believes they're a good driver. So how do we convince them to, to fix their driving? How do we convince them to become better? Obviously, there are some who is already good. But there is also a lot who could improve. So that's one of the, the basics problems. And we did ask people about this. We asked, how safe is your driving, just you know, for the fun of it. And I'll, I'll, I'll sh here's the data for you to see. It's not in percentage, I'll just say. This, this one person who self-identifies as being one of the worst is, is literally one person. And then the rest is average or better than average or among the best. And this is where it becomes a bit more tricky again. We want to tell this to the users, but how do you tell something like this to the user without getting them to leave the app, without getting them, like, while still retaining them in the app and being happy with it? So how do we do this? I'll not come into the details. I don't have enough time to go into the details on how we do it. Uh, but are we successful in it? And um, is it enough? The basic answer is yes, it is enough. And really briefly, I'll just walk you through a bit of our uh, raw data that we just want to show. We have the safety score here. This is uh, uh, horizontally, it's the weeks. How long have you been on board? You can see a bit of the details of what we've done in the, in the history, but you also see that significant bump at first, which we are now trying to experiment and explore how we can prolong that initial 10-week bump where people are improving on the safety. On the distraction score, it's even better. And that's, we believe that's because uh, distraction, putting your phone away, is more of a binary choice. It's, more, it's, it's easy to do, whereas the safety part of it is, is very subjective to what you feel is a strong acceleration or a, a hard turn or whatever. So uh, does it work? Yes, we do see, see it, it work definitely with, uh, with the help of uh, DriveCon's uh, nice app. Yep. So thank you, Morten, uh, for the explanation. I think it's a very good example of uh, how our technology can be used. If you want to know more, uh, we have a stand, and you can come to, to discuss uh, with uh, our team or with Morten. All right. Thank you. Thanks.